if you follow me on Twitter, um, yesterday I had tweeted something that I was gonna disclaim, but sitting here thinking about it now, I think what I was gonna say was minor to what is actually gonna be happening. Now, as a lot of you know, I currently do not have a job, and I have been looking as much as I possibly can, and it's hard. It really is. Um, I'm pretty sure many of you have probably also noticed that I have not really been myself lately much of much at all actually for a little while um it's because I am 98% sure I've been going through another depression 98% sure I'm not incredibly sure on the facts but I feel like I have been I think it's for a couple reasons um So with me saying this I think it's time for a change. You know, I have been trying to figure out exactly what to do exactly how to do it and I don't know how to exactly I wish I knew how but I don't I have been trying to get my life together for what seems like a total of three years now. And I thought I had it all figured out. But when it comes into terms, I really don't. Now, I'm not sure when but I think it's time that I went to go see someone. Or, or maybe see no one at all, I don't know. Maybe just talking about it with friends and family will make it feel a little better, I don't know. You know, I have been keeping to myself for the longest time. I have enclosed myself in a lot of ways. And I think it's time I let it all out, honestly. I think it's time to where I fully just let all of the discomfort I have been feeling go. So, I'm actually not sure where this is coming from at all, actually. I usually don't let these feelings known unless something has happened dramatically, but I think that happened, like, four weeks ago, when I initially lost my job. And I think in that time, in that time, I've just been stuck. And I know I posted a video on my vlog channel saying that I'm stuck, but I wasn't sure exactly where and how I was stuck. So, 
in that time frame, I was talking to my friend Jesse. You know, he helped out a little bit. And then my friend Jay and me were talking, and that helped out a little bit. But I think it's time that I did this for myself and pulled in more resources than what I have been accompanied by. And I think it's time to where I get all of the hurt that I have been feeling out there to everyone. I want it to be soon because I don't want to feel like this anymore. I really don't. I want to keep pushing my message along to where it not only inspires others to do the same, but it keeps me moving. Because if I don't have the full mentality there to keep my movement, then how am I supposed to gain others to help push that movement as well? So, I'm not sure what it's called, but... I'm going to be calling in a group of a group of really close friends to see if we can get just get stuff off of my chest. So I can't remember what it's called, but usually the other people call it. Like they come in a group and they call it forward and they group up and blah 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 blah, but. I think it's about time to where I personally do it because I don't like feeling like this. I don't like feeling stuck. I don't like feel I don't like feeling like I can't do anything. I don't like that feeling. So I'm calling in a couple people, I really wish it could be, I really wish it could be soon, but I don't think it can be, because I know people work, I know people don't have transportation, but if I can get at least a few people in, it would make all the better. So, I'm going to make arrangements probably as soon as this goes up to see what I can do to make these arrangements possible. With that being said, guys, um, I have decided to... I've decided to change something. And I know it's not as big as everyone's going to see it. But this is something that I believe in. And I believe that it will make a change for the better. Like, I, I believe that, I believe personally that I will, that this will make a change. So, um, my slogan, um, the hashtag, remember to always stay positive, I am no longer going to be using that. Um, I've actually already changed it in a few places, um, well, one place, but... I feel like this will be better for what I'm trying to do. So I think it's about time that 
I make this movement happen in the best way I know best way I know how because if I don't do it my way then I'm not doing it to my best potential um a, a little while ago I was told that what I do here on YouTube is crap. That I was the worst. That and that I just couldn't do it. Now, at first, I was 85% sure that with, with that, I was going to shut it down. That this entire thing was going to be shut down. But I couldn't... I couldn't get over the fact that... I can't let someone tell me... What to do. Especially if they don't know the full story. Now... I don't really care if they see this or not. I really don't. But... I need, I need this to be heard. Words can hurt. They really can. But it's up to us to decide whether what to do with those words. Now, I told everyone that I took those words and I made a movement. Now, that, mo that movement was towards growing. Now, I still believe in that movement. <clears throat> And I'm going to keep that movement going. And with that movement, some things are going to change. Um, I had mentioned this in a, a live stream on my Facebook, <clears throat> excuse me, on my Facebook channel not too long ago, saying that I wasn't sure if I was going to keep Minecraft on there. If the podcast that me and Benny did was going to stay on that particular channel. But. For me. This. This channel has been. The only thing keeping me going. Really right now. It's the only thing that's keeping me up and going. And. I think it's time to where I make this this change, this movement, in order to better myself and to better others that I'm trying to to to, to make myself better and to help motivate other people to, to, to help to help them thrive in what they wanna do. Because without 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 the ability to thrive, without the ability to have a chance to move forward then you're just stuck like I was but I'm making a difference and I don't want to be stuck anymore I want to be able to move forward with my life and make a change for the better with that being said guys the hashtag remember to always stay positive will no longer be my hashtag it will no longer be a hashtag I will probably make it as a hashtag on my Twitter and stuff like that, but it will not be considered a hashtag anymore. It will be considered... What is it? it will be considered a life journey, a promise, and everything in between. Now, when I originally started this channel, I called y'all my survivors because of my name, Hopeful Survivor. Now, for about, I want to say about a month now, it's been, maybe more, I have not helped, I have not felt like Hopeful Survivor. Now, honestly, I felt like Hopeless Survivor. That's the way I felt. But, with this change, I am taking back my name, and... I am making a new life movement that's still going to pertain to positivity, 
but it's going to be something more. Remembering is one thing, but doing is another. With that being said, guys, my new slogan, my new life path, no matter what, no matter what the case may be, will always be, and will always stand to be, to keep positive. Now, I know in some time this will, it will be hard to, because people struggle, people go through things, but we always have to keep positive in those things. Remembering to stay positive, that's one thing. You're remembering something. No, you have to keep positive. And you have to push through it no matter what the circumstance is. Because you're just remembering to stay positive. You're just, this is the thought of it. This, you have to keep positive. And push through it at the same time. Because if you don't, you're never going to get out of where you're stuck at. So this is it guys, this is it. I'm going to be talking to people relatively soon, gathering them together in one place and having a conversation with them about how I can help myself. I think it's time to do that. So, with that being said, my Survivor family, usually I, would say, usually I would say to remember to always stay positive, but I won't this time. What I want you guys to do now is to keep positive, keep pushing through, and no matter what happens, we will always survive together. I am hopeful survivor keep positive my survivor family and let's get through this together